My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on y'all? So a lot of you have asked me to compare the Orion 32 to the Quantum 4848. So this video, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, the sound, the control panel, connections, and front panel for the Orion 32 and the Quantum 4848. Uh, I don't have any sound examples. I wish I would have printed some files with the Orion uh, before I sold it, uh, but uh, going over the sound, I feel like the DDA converter on the Orion, I feel like I hear uh, a little more high end as well as a little more low end. I uh, also feel like the Orion's D to A is maybe a dB louder than the Quantum. Um, this, not to say that the Quantum has a bad D to A converter in my opinion. I can just hear higher frequencies uh, with the Orion and lower frequencies as well. Now the a to D conversion, I'm really pleased with the A to D conversion on the Quantum. Uh, again, I wish I would have printed some files with the Orion to directly compare them. Uh, but um, moving on to the uh, connections, uh, the sound isn't really what makes or breaks these interfaces in my opinion because both of them uh, has their pros and cons. The Orion is very versatile with its connections. If you look on the back of the Orion, you have uh, MADI connections, uh, ADAT, SPDIF. Uh, you also have four word clock outputs, so you can use the Orion as a master clock, whereas the Quantum 4848 only has uh, one word clock output and a word clock input. So the Orion you can use as a master clock because of its multiple uh, word clock outputs. Uh, the Orion 32 maxes out at 32 inputs simultaneously. Yes, it has ADAT, it has SPDIF, but if you use the SPDIF, if you use the ADAT, you're taking away from the physical 32 inputs on the Orion. Whereas with the Quantum 4848, it has 32 ins and outs by D-Sub, like the Orion, but it also has 16 ADATs that you can uh, use on top of that for a total of 48 by 48. So the Quantum does more than the Orion. However, the Orion has more uh, connectivity options available uh, for you. Uh, I didn't like that, you know, if I use the SPDIF or uh, the ADAT, it takes away from those 32, uh, but the 32 plus uh, solves that a little bit by giving you two main outputs on the uh, Orion 32 plus. Now, uh, also the Orion is USB 2.0 and uh, the Quantum is Thunderbolt. Uh, that's an obvious difference between the two. Uh, I want to talk about the control panel. If you like to you know, rearrange your inputs and move things around like that. You definitely want to go with the Orion. You can, you know, if I want my spit of outputs to be one and two, I can remap that in the control panel on the Orion. The Quantum, you cannot. Uh, what you see is what you get. Uh, it's only like two options you really have with the, the Quantum's control panel, and that's the, the input and output, what you view on the front of the unit. Um, with the Orion on the front of the unit, uh, you can change the frequencies, uh, you can go through the settings. Uh, with the Quantum 4848, nothing on the front panel besides the power controls the unit. So with the Orion, you can power it on and off from the control panel. It's just a lot more that you can do in the control panel with the Orion versus the Quantum. Uh, I've never had to you know, power it on and off through the control panel, but it is a cool feature because if you think about it, you can have your Orion in the closet, really, and power it on and off from the control panel. You don't have to have it sitting there uh, next to you. Um, another difference on the front panel uh, that uh, the Orion gives you is metering for your input and output. And through the control panel, you can also select uh, what you're metering. It can be the DAC, the ADC, um, MADI, spit if you can change all of that and it will reflect uh, on the front panel there on the Orion again with the quantum 4848 it's really nothing you really have no options really in the control panel uh, that you can change around so you know those are all main differences to look at 
Um, also with the Quantum 4848, you only have your 32 ins and outs, and then you have your 16 by ADAT. Uh, there's no spit if, um, no MATIC connection, anything like that. So you just get the ADAT and you get your uh, 32 channels by D sub. So these two interfaces, while they both do 32 channels, physical IO, Quantum 4848 does more. If you need more than 48 and you want to go into that 16 channels, 16 additional channels with the Quantum, then you know you may want to look at the Quantum. If you're into connectivity, or even if you don't have a computer that does Thunderbolt yet, you may want to look at the Orion. And between these two interfaces, I really don't see the Quantum 4848 as a standalone interface. Although I feel like the Orion would work better as a standalone interface because you're able to reorder the I.O. and everything. But the Quantum 4848, in my opinion, is more of a sidekick or a companion to the Quantum line, uh, the Quantum interface. Uh, because you can extend your I.O. just by daisy chaining it by Thunderbolt and you're not using any of the ADAT or uh, any of the other digital connectivity on the Quantum to extend your I.O. there. Just a Thunderbolt cable and you've got uh, 32 more inputs and outputs. And you know, comparing those two, if you look at the price, the Quantum 4848 is 1500, the Quantum is 1000, so together that's 2500. You look at something like the Orion 32 Plus and uh, that's gonna go for 3000. So you know, for about 500 less, uh, you're gonna get more I.O., a lot more I.O. in combining the Quantum and Quantum uh, 4848. Uh, you know, you'll get monitoring, uh, you know, headphone outputs, some mic pre's if you need that, uh, and doing it that way, combining the Quantum with the 4848. I don't know how the 4848 would pair with other Thunderbolt interfaces um, out there outside of the Quantum. Um, I uh, you know, would imagine it would daisy chain fine. You can create a uh, aggregate device in your Mac if you're on Mac. Uh, but that's how I view the 4848. I look at it as a you know, companion uh, to the Quantum, where the Orion 32 is more of a standalone interface, in my opinion. Uh, but that's my comparison of those two. Uh, if any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch you all next time.